think forestry and you probably don't think computers, 3D images, lasers and robots, but this is Forestry 2008 style. Once these long length logs are unloaded from Jeff's truck, they all go through this merchandising yard which sorts them and cuts them to length. get scanned by a 3D laser scanner so we've got a picture of the log and the idea here is to maximise the value out of those logs that came in from the bush. So every single log? Every single log that comes into the yard uh, that's a merchandising log gets 3D scanned. Um, after it's been scanned the computer works out how we get the maximum value out of that log uh, by cutting into one and two metre lengths for the rotary veneer mill or into longer, bigger lengths for the sawmill. So we produce both saw logs and rotary veneer logs. The merchandising yard is also a major value add. Before it, all these logs would have been bound for export. Before the merchandising yard, all of the logs you see today were in fact pulpwood logs. So in keeping with, I suppose, the industry aim of, of, of maximising value recovery from all of its logs, what you see today, as I say, is, is, is pulpwood logs which are now being converted into high value rotary peel veneer logs. Southwood itself rises from Tassie's southern forest, surrounded by nothing but forest. Yep, the reason is to take fully laden log trucks off the open roads and to keep the supply close at hand. No old growth logs here on this site, it's 100% regrowth and plantation. And a lot of the regrowth has been grown by people that's worked for the old forestry commission or the forestry department. So. We've got regrowth um, logs, regrowth forest in the Huon district that have been regenerated since the 1950s. Some of those are now producing logs that are suitable for rotary veneer production. Tasmania's newest and biggest veneer mill sees shorter lengths of logs peeled like an apple. Sort of a big version of a wood lathe, if you can imagine them, what they are, and that just grabs the uh, billet in between the chuck and it's like a big uh, planing blade which uh, the wood rotates up against and it peels off a fine sheet of veneer. Once peeled into one of two thicknesses, the veneer is put through a dryer which runs from wood power. And so Bob, this is the, uh, the, the finished end of the product? That's right, this is the final stage for Tasmania. Yep. The dry veneer is being loaded, uh, shrink wrapped onto the truck. It'll go to the wharf, be sent to Malaysia where they'll make it into finished plywood to make it into and this. Into a final flooring product that's um, you can put in your bathroom or wherever else. Really high quality, high strength made from Tasmanian nucleus. The other mill at Southwood is a sawmill where longer logs are put through a process starting out like this. And ending up like this. The four-year-old mill's edger means minimum waste and perfectly cut boards. The whole Southwood plant employs 90% locals, which has meant a once struggling corner of the state is now thriving with employment. Yeah, we're down to about a zero uh, unemployment rate now. It's, uh, it's good because a few years ago it was, it was getting up pretty high, especially the youth unemployment. The Wood Centre has provided jobs for 98 people. It doesn't use any old growth timber whatsoever. It turns regrowth from the surrounding forests into high value products. The veneers are being exported to Malaysia. Previously all timber being put through Southwood would have been turned into wood chips.